Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a really cool stroke effect kind of thing when it goes alignment around your body for your thumbnails, for your YouTube videos, or any other platform that you put thumbnails for, or just cool pictures to have a stroke around you, and you can maybe even make yourself bigger than your background and have the stroke and whatever. Really easy way to do it in DaVinci Resolve. So, without a Without further ado, let's get into it. Looks familiar, guys, because this is part of my thumbnail for this exact video, okay? So, it's cool. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create this exact effect, okay? So, I think let's just start by showing you how I use it. So, I'm going to just take off this solid color. It's very simple, solid color. You can find over here. You can just close all these guys. That's whatever, um, but all you need is pretty much the scene now. I'm gonna teach you how I use it. This is the end result, okay? And I can just change the color of it just like this. It's super easy if I want orange, whatever, super easy. So once you've made it, you can customize and change it up however you'd like. You can also change how the thing itself is. So now that I showed you how, how I use it and that's very cool and easy, now I'm going to teach you actually how to make it, okay? So I think let's just start by breaking it down. So this is all the end stuff. So I'm just going to take what I made and here, let's actually just make it how it was. So I'm just going to take all I made, I'm going to disconnect it, and I'm going to start from scratch. So this is how you'd be starting, okay? Oopsie. Wait, not yet. This is about how you'd be starting, though you wouldn't have this guy. So you're gonna want to do here, add alpha output, and then you're gonna get it. Great, easy, awesome, okay? You can also just close that, and a good and easy ways to do your fit. Okay, so our first order of business here is going to be to mask it out, okay? Mask our subject. So I'm just gonna make here a really terrible mask, but you should really scroll wheel and then press on scroll wheel to move. Really do a good mask because this mask is also going to be your mask itself, but also going to be controlling pretty much how your subject, um, how the subject's stroke is going to look, okay? So try to make it as smooth and good as possible, okay? So whatever, I'm just doing here a really rough mask. It's good to try to also do stuff like this, but it can get a bit hard sometimes. Okay, you wanna go around and connect it. Okay, now it's really important to go back and to like clean these kind of stuff up, okay? So try to get it as good as possible. This is pretty much terrible, but I'm just doing here a rough example. So now you're gonna wanna bring up the softness a bit, maybe around four, and a bit maybe of output, okay? Now, once we've done that, we can press here to see what we have done, what we have selected. Okay, we selected that, great. Now we're gonna want to press on this button to select everything but that, okay? And now we're going into, here I'm just turning off that, but you can see here, we have that selected, okay? All, everybody but me, everything but me. Now Alt S to create another node. And we're almost done. Don't get um things. Don't get scared, whatever. It's too long. Okay, don't forget to subscribe also if you still haven't. Now, here we're gonna want to just draw this line, boom. Just drag it, okay? Now we're getting the exact same thing here, but I don't want that. I want me. I want only me in this node. So I'm gonna go here, okay? It's gonna come like that. And you're just gonna wanna press invert over there. And that's gonna give me just me. So we can see here, now when we have this guy selected, it's just me. When we have this guy selected, it's everything but me. Okay, so let's go back here. And now I'm gonna wanna be taking that, the just me, and I'm gonna wanna be dragging that to the output, okay? So now output is just me. That's great, okay? And then now we can start having some fun. So we can turn that guy off, okay? And this is going to be our complete output. Doesn't matter on what we're standing. This is going to be our output, okay? So now we want to be on this guy and just pick our color, okay? So I'm going to pick 
let's say purple okay and then you're gonna want to try to bring it up a heck ton okay not way too much when it just turns white and then it's like not fun okay because you can't really do too much in the colors let's say i wanted the blue so you don't need to go way too much but you want to get something nice okay something bright okay now that we've done that you gonna you're you gonna wanna you're gonna want to open effects open open effects and go to something here called gaussian blur okay and just drop it on there and then bring that up okay so that's gonna be blurring out your background and a blurred out background with this stroke effect is gonna look much better and we can just do here reflect now gang won't really do a big difference here if any and you can just see here before after it looked much better this is before after okay so gaussian blur is good we can also try adding here a glow but i don't know how effective it actually is so let's say we'd really bring it up there no it, it wouldn't it does something unique okay it's definitely unique but i don't know it's if it's my favorite like this is without with it's a different style and you can also add a color to your glow so let's say you want it to glow a specific color let's say this kind of green there before after it's special it's cool but i don't think that you can use it if you want to now in here you're gonna want to go here i left it off okay you're gonna want to go in here and you don't need to but if you want to play with your image a bit then you can play with it a bit here now if you want full control control over your image then you're going to want to do alt s and just have this guy it's going to automatically only bridge away that you don't want to connect anything like that and now we can play with it okay so we can play with our contrast bring a bit of contrast in there some saturation if we want maybe change up the hues a bit we don't need to though no i'm not going to change it up um we can add a bit of that and it's already looking better i think at least a bit now saturation i actually want to pull back but we can play here with the pivot pivot is just your contrast is it going to make it brighter or is it going to make it lower in brightness darker <laughs> okay so i'm just going to pick something like that okay so we've done that and now in here like i showed you in the start of the video you can pick your color okay so it's a really easy way to do it now cool note if you don't want to have something like this and you want to have your original picture with you having that stroke, what you can do is take your new thing and press alt and drag, like keep your finger on alt and then drag it. And then when you're in here, go to color and just completely delete the whole, not the whole thing, but delete these two and then reset node. Okay. And then you're going to go in there and now it doesn't look good oh no what happened no so we just back then did the top one so we're just going to want to exchange those and now it's looking like we want it to so you can see in here if we zoom in there are a couple stuff that we can still do let's say if we go into our blur blur i think that we might not have used here the gaussian blur yeah so I don't know what happened there. That's weird. But that's already looking a bit better. And you might want to make it brighter. Whatever you have. Uh, stuff that you can do. Now we have here. Pretty much you can make it big. But you don't want to make it too much. Or else it gets really bad. So if you want to just soften it up. Okay. So I think something like this is really good. If you want just a white stroke. But you already put a color. And you don't want to be shifting just press this guy okay and that's going to do that and then you can make it brighter got a really nice white stroke okay so hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content and press that bell icon if you want to get notified before everyone else so i've been a fire m4 film and video and leave a comment if you want to see something specific bye Boom, we got it, it looks really good, and that's all you're gonna need to know. Now, if you still haven't subscribed, press that button if you wanna see more of me and my content. If you have any ideas, 
comment down below. And if you like this video, like it, didn't like it, dislike it, please just like it. I'm like like it as in your inner liking it, not pressing the button. You you I'm not asking you to press that button. Okay, pretty much I have a Patreon kind of thing. So if you want to support me, you can go there and support me. And there's some cool goodies over there. So thank and the video, right? Okay, bye.